Hey guys, welcome to another home tour by Blue Bricks by Property Lim Brothers. Today we're at Canberra Walk and we'll be checking out a four-room unit here that we're reaching its MOP in August this year, just 10 minutes away from the Canberra MRT station. So if you're someone looking for a younger resale flat that's well renovated, just minutes away from the MRT station and in a very quiet neighbourhood, I think this is a unit that you'll be excited to check out. So let's go. If you believe in love, how will I feel Watch to the end of this video as we'll be sharing 5 renovation ideas you can use for this home. Let's first start with the BB facts of this property. We're located at 108C Canberra Walk. This Canberra area mostly consists of new BTO blocks at TOP in the last few years. Ours will be reaching MOP in August this year. So there are 108 units in this block consisting of only 4-room or 5-room flats. So for this floor plan, it's really interesting. So what the owners have done is they've actually sealed this opening here, which was where the opening to the third bedroom is. And you can actually enter to the third bedroom through the second common bedroom. So this has been redesigned as something that is your master. And your third bedroom is then used as your study or your wardrobe area that's only accessible through the master bedroom. It is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know our unit is located a few doors down from the lift lobby and it's also located in a rather recessed manner. So in terms of privacy, you won't have neighbours walking through to look into your unit. So as for the interior design of the unit, you'll notice that the home is designed in a very rustic feel and taking elements of the farmhouse or the barn house look across various parts of the house. So you'll see here that the floor has been laminated in this really nice grained wooden laminate and you also have these nice feature walls that are reminiscent of barn walls in the western countryside. So for this living area, very very open space, you've got your venation blinds already done up. We are facing northeast, so you won't really get the west sun that's coming into the house but still a little bit of sun to give the home a brighter look. So the living room here has a very good regular space, you've got everything that you need, a TV console, TV area, as well as a sofa. Onto this side of the house, the dining area, so we've got shoe cabinets that have already been done as well as cabinets to really just hide your DB box. The doors wise have been done with the digital lock as well as a gate lock and a camera as well, so very high-tech and smart technology here. The current setup for the dining table is a six-seater table. We also have a really nice feature lamp that's hanging overhead. So very, very clean, open space that you have in the dining area. And then this leads directly to your kitchen. You've got the cabinets that have already been done up for you. And you know, this is great because that's a lot of storage space that you can consider. You have the countertop space here where you can put in your appliances so you don't have to keep removing and keeping them. And they've also included a shelf here where you can have extra space for storage or you can also do what the owners have done which is display their extensive collection of alcohol. So next up on the list we have the DB location analysis. In terms of food options, we have at least 5 coffee shops within a 7 minute walk away from here. And if you're looking for a last minute grocery run, the nearest supermarket is Shengchong Supermarket and that's just opposite the street at 105 Canberra Street. And if you look a little further, Canberra MRT is about a 10 minute walk away from here. And if you take 3 stops down to Woodlands MRT Interchange on the Thompson East Coast Line, you can then switch to that line. Or if you take 5 stops down the other direction is where you'll reach Bishan MRT Interchange and that's where you'll get to the circle line. So there are plenty of malls nearby, there's Canberra Plaza which is at Canberra MRT. There's also Sembawang Shopping Centre as well as Sun Plaza which are all less than 5 bus stops away. But the development that has got the residents in this area excited is the upcoming integrated hub. So this is one of the few integrated hubs in Singapore and this is called Bukit Canberra. And Bukit Canberra is going to boast a hawker centre, the largest active SG with indoor and outdoor pools, 3km running trails and various healthcare options like the Sembawang Polyclinic and Senior Care Centre. So there are several primary schools nearby including Canberra Primary School, Chongfu School as well as Sembawang. Bawang Primary School. This is a really open and welcoming kitchen. This area you have a long countertop, so this could act as your breakfast countertop for you to have quick meals or if you want to do meal preparation, that's also possible. So there's quite a bit of space for you to put in your appliances like your microwave oven or other things that you use frequently and don't want to keep away. On the other side of the kitchen, you've got areas for your fridge. Cabinets have also been done on top and bottom. But the mayor's stove and hood has also been installed. So these are really good quality appliances as well as a dish drying rack here. So you won't have to worry about that. So these also have blum closing. You won't be slamming your 
your cabinets when you close them. And a very good size sink here for you to do your dishes, wash your pet pots and pans. So on one side of the kitchen, you've got the home shelter where you can double up as storage space. On the other side is where you've got the yard where you can do your laundry. You've got your washer and your dryer and a place for you to hang your clothes on top as well as on this side. And what's interesting here is that this direction is West Sun. So if you're washing clothes and you want to hang them to dry, that's not going to be an issue for you. So before we head to the rest of the bedrooms, let's talk a little bit about the BB Quick Comparative Price Analysis. So if you're looking for something that has recently MOP in the immediate area, you'll be looking at the HDB classes like East Crown, East Bank and East Wave. On average, the forum units on high floors are asking about 600,000 to 650,000. The mid floor units are asking slightly lower at 550,000 to 598,000. And the lower floor units are asking on average 525,000 to 540,000. To compare with something bigger, five room newly MOP flats in this area are on average asking 680,000 to 760,000. For older forum flats in this area, there's Montrealville where the lease started in 2015 and these are asking 520000 to 568000 and there are also options in the Yishun area closer to us where flats were built in the 1980s to 2000 and these are asking about 400000 to 500000 for non-renovated original condition units. So in comparison, our unit at Canberra Walk located on the high floor 1000 square feet is asking 580000 So if you're looking for a unit that's well renovated on a high floor but you also want to keep the quantum below 600 I think this unit is definitely suitable for you. So if you're wondering about the numbers behind this purchase, let's dive a little bit deeper into the financial analysis. If you're buying this flat, you may be eligible for the following grants. Family grant of about 50,000 for a four-room flat. Enhanced housing grant up to 80,000 depending on your average gross monthly household income. There's also the proximity housing grant of up to 30,000 depending on whether you live with your parents or within 4km of them. So assuming a young couple, age 28, just married, fresh into the workforce and drawing a household income about 6,500. And they're buying this unit at 580,000 and there's no cash over valuation. And let's just also assume that they stay within 4 km of their parents, so they would be eligible for about 100,000 in grants. And since they have just started work, let's also assume their current OA savings are minimal. So if they're taking a HDB loan, their monthly mortgage works out to be 2,178, which can be offset partially by their combined CPF contributions of 1,495, leaving just 683 that they have to pay in cash. On to the bedrooms. So this is the first common bedroom that is currently being used as a nursery. You'll realise that there are very little fixtures in this place. This is really just you know, free play for you to design however you wish to do. There's already Venetian blinds that's installed. So we'll check out the common bathroom. So this is a very good size common bathroom here. You've also noticed on top, what the owners have done is they've actually encased the lights and the pipes in this rather classy looking structure. So if you're someone who doesn't like the look of pipes in the HDB bathrooms, I think this is something that is very smartly done as well. Before we move into the master bedroom, so this is where the original door to the master bedroom was located. They put this little entry table here for you to put in your display items. Also a feature wall. And moving on into the bedroom, so this is the common bedroom room that has been redesigned as the master bedroom. So what the owners have done is they've shifted forward the master bedroom and relegated the study and the wardrobe inside. They've created this platform bed for you to put your king size bed. They have also have this feature wall that you've seen throughout many parts of the house. What's interesting here is they also have this corner fan that's been installed. The platform bed also has lights installed underneath. So this is like cove lighting but at the bottom. So you get you know, ambiance setting at night when you switch on the lights. From the master bedroom, it leads to the study room and the wardrobe. You have the U-shaped study table on your right. So this is a really good space for the owners to have a his and her working station. We've got shelves installed at both sides as well as cabinets done below and at the side as well. You've got four panels of wardrobe space and you've also got additional storage space at this side if you run out of space for your clothes. This is a good size bathroom and what the owners have done is they've actually tiled the walls with subway tiles. Very classy, very trendy. Also installed storage behind the mirror as well. So what's interesting about this floor plan is this little nook over here because they sealed the doorway from the third bedroom and you have to enter from the second bedroom. So this area becomes livable and it becomes a little walk-in or little catwalk area for you to get ready in the mornings. So you have this shelving space here for you to put in your hair dryer, your daily essentials, your makeup whatsoever for you to just really get ready in the morning before you head out. So if you're thinking of getting this place, here are five BB renovation ideas you can explore. 
for our first BB renovation idea, you can really lean into the use of this hallway as a dressing area. What you could do is build in a dresser here, so you have storage at the top and the bottom, and you can sit here to get ready in the mornings. Second BB renovation idea is you can use this bedroom as a common bedroom. A queen size bed here definitely can fit. Also, if you want to do cabinets at this side, that will still give you quite a bit of space to walk around. So next up on our list of the renovation ideas, this is quite a sizable space. What you can do is convert this into a play area or a study area if you need one. So you can just hack this away and then you can put in a table or enclose this space with glass windows. Fourth BB renovation idea, if you're a heavy cooker and you like to do a lot of frying, what you can do is you can install the glass window here and a sliding door here so that you can enclose this part of the kitchen for your heavy cooking and then you can leave the rest of the house all free. For our last BB renovation idea, what you can do is to convert the three bedrooms back into the original layout if you are in need of a third bedroom. This current place actually has the door frame still within so what you can do is just you know remove the partition wall, patch back the wall in the second bedroom and then you have three bedrooms for you to use. So we've come to the end of this home tour and if you're looking for something that is a younger resale that just recently MOP, a well renovated unit, I think this four room flat at Canberra Walk is just the unit for you. So if you're keen to view this unit, our listing manager's contact details are just down below. So to end off, do remember to like and subscribe to our Blue Bricks Pride Property Lim Brothers YouTube channel. We're also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok so remember to follow us on that as well. I'm Nicole, Blue Bricks Pride Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. got a lot of space to do your business. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Listing managers, details, contact. Wow.